We recently built our surgery center, uh, got it credentialed and certified uh, about a year ago. And so we've been going through the process of which FACO platform are we gonna decide to use for our cataract surgery? And when we were going through the process to make that decision, like which FACO machine is it gonna be? Ultimately, I, I didn't really have a strong preference on the device itself. I was going for things like economics. And the reason is, because we do almost all our cataract surgery using the Lensar laser, the FACO machine actually doesn't matter that much anymore. The laser itself is softening the cataract. It images the density of the nucleus. We customize our patterns accordingly. And so my technique for cataract surgery is directly and intimately tied to how I use the Lensar to treat my cataracts. And the, and the FACO machine becomes secondary to that. So it doesn't really actually matter that much which FACO machine we're using. And sometimes I get the question like, well, tell me about your standard cataract surgery technique. And I think people are wondering like, okay, well, do you do divide and conquer or do you, you know, do like chop and flop or whatever these different techniques are? And my answer is, well, I use a femto. My technique is femto. They're like, okay, but like, what's your technique when you're, you know, most of the time when you're not using femto? I'm like, what do you mean? Most of the time I do use the femto. That's my standard technique. And it's a totally unique way to approach cataracts. You know, you're softening the nucleus from the center. You, you know, it's like taking out the, the core of an apple and then splitting into these quadrants. It's very efficient. And so really, the, the, for the most part, what I'm using with my FACO machine is really just the suction and the aspiration. I'm not using a ton of ultrasound energy to get the cataract out.